Hi, this is Rosie Cernick with Reflections by Rosie and Show and Tell Selling. Thanks so much for visiting the blog today. I'm so excited that you're here. My topic that I'm covering today is about resolutions. Now, if you're like me, um, 2015 was probably great, but you want 2016 to be even better. I am a natural hard driver in most things that I do. Anybody who knows me can attest to that. So resolutions are something that I do for myself every year. And most people start off doing, but something like 92% of people fall off that wagon fairly early in the year. And I don't want you to be a statistic this year. I want you to understand some of my things that I do so that hopefully you can help tick off those things off your personal list for 2016. The very first thing I want to talk to you about is the power of writing down your goal. I have a pretty notebook. Um, I usually get a new one every year and I write down my goal at the beginning of the year and I use it as a checklist as I go throughout the year and I feel really accomplished as I go through and check off my little business list. I have some little things on my goal sheet and I have some really big things. And um, I just kind of go through the little things first, knock them off, and I feel really powerful by putting a check next to each and every one of those um, things on my sheet. I even do this with my own family. My husband and I are both really goal-driven people, so we learned in Texas a little trick. We had a whiteboard that was attached to our um, a garage door, basically, in our main living room of our house in Texas. And um, my husband had the idea to use it as our resolution sheet, basically, when we were there. Um, he had written down all of his goals. We put our family goals because our kids were really little at the time. And then I put my goal down, goals down there as well. And I found that by having people come in and see our sheet and ask us questions because it was right there in front of them as well, we kind of found ourselves more on task. We wanted to accomplish it for us, but then we also started realizing that people had a stake in it as well because they came in and they were asking us, and especially as the year progressed, they started making sure that we finished it as well. They almost enjoyed seeing the little checks go up next to those goals as much as we did. So by having that on there, it added another level of accountability that we wanted to have. Which brings me to my next suggestion. Have an accountability buddy. Now, an accountability buddy is not a spouse. It is not a significant other when it comes to your business. I have a firm belief that spouses and significant others, um, they push you in a different personal way. But when it comes to business, unless they're in the same industry as you are, um, it is, unless they truly understand how you feel, it's really better to have somebody else be an accountability buddy. An accountability buddy is someone who is on the same plane as far as success goes for you. Um, I would not suggest finding somebody who is kind of a mentor position over you. I really find that having a peer is next it, peer in your industry is actually better than having somebody who's going to feel like you're trying to get information out of them or if somebody approaches you, put it this way, if someone approaches you and they are really beginner and you're more advanced, you're going to feel like they're trying to get free information out of you as well. So you really want it to be a mutually beneficial relationship. I have two accountability buddies this year. My two buddies are two different walks of life. I have one who's a photographer and she understands the ins and outs of the industry. She understands the successes that we have day to day. She understands the frustrations we have day to day. We can cheer each other on for the things that happen in the photography industry. We can hold each other up when it comes to the frustrating things that happen in our industry. But ultimately when it comes to writing another ebook, which is one of my goals, she's not gonna be the best fit. So I have another person who is a creative, who is much more of a writer, who's going to help push me in that side. We're going to do meetings once a week. We have it on the calendar and we're gonna stick firm with it. And the accountability buddy is something that I love because you keep each other on task and on track. The third thing is giving yourself opportunities for rewards. Rewards are little pats on the back along the way, whether it be 
For example, when I was running a half marathon, I treated myself to a pedicure after, and I really made a big deal in my head about this pedicure that I was going to do, and it really helped get me through some of the tough times of training because, yeah, training for a half marathon is not so easy. So looking forward to a little pedicure at the end was something that really helped pull me through. When it comes to photography, if you have little rewards along the way, say, say okay, I want to write five blog posts this week and I want to have them all green on my Yoast SEO search engine searchability and I want to figure all this stuff out. Treat yourself to something like a Starbucks or if you like wine, give yourself a glass of wine. Just give yourself something for a little pat on the back that will help get you through to the next thing on your list. Number four, understand that resolutions are hard work. There is no way around it any resolution that'll change you is going to be something that you have to fight for, something you have to work for, and something that you cannot give up on. It's a lot like weight loss. When you want to lose 16 pounds, you are not going to go to bed one night and wake up the next morning 16 pounds lighter. It is not going to happen. You have to work hard. You have to change your diet. You have to make yourself sore. You have to push yourself farther than you've ever gone before if you want to make this happen. Same thing with your business goals. You might have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning. You're gonna have to stay up late until 12.30 at night. If you have those goals in mind, you are going to find ways to achieve them. Understand it is work. Number five, break it down into smaller goals if you have to. My big goal this year is to write another ebook. But how do you write an ebook? Guess what? It's one chapter at a time. With your photography, if you're looking at making something like SEO a, fa a factor, you want to really figure out how to get your SEO rankings up, guess what? You have to work at that one thing at a time. That is not something you're going to figure out overnight. You have to break it down into smaller little subsections. Um, say, for example, figuring out the right keywords. And I'm not an expert in SEO, so I don't even know much about it, but I'm telling you, I'm learning. <laughs> but it's a thing. It's, it's like taking a course in school. You're not going to walk in the first day and understand how to take the final. Take it day by day. Take every lesson for what it is as a lesson and grow. So thank you so much. Um, I hope that these hips, these tips, these tricks are going to be helpful for you. Maybe bring your hips down if weight loss is, is a resolution for you. Um, my name is Rosie Sertic again. I am with Reflections by Rosie Photography and showandtellselling.com. If you're interested in learning more about me, my website is www.reflectionsbyrosie, it's R-O-S-I-E dot com. And Show and Tell Selling is www.showandtellselling.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Please comment below if you have any resolutions you're willing to share with the group. I'd love to hear them and I want to cheer you on and have a fantastic rest of your day.